I'm uh, fucking Max, Miles. Let's it out. Oh boy, we're playing some Planet Zoo today. My favorite game where we get to do Jesus some Christ. cool stuff what with What is this? We catch up on what we've done so far with giraffes and other things. First, we made a totally normal zoo with zigzagging pathways, giraffes in such a Great. small space that they turned into a giraffe hydra. But Great. let's be honest, these giraffes are so cute. Guests are gonna love them in any form. See, I told you. And then um, after we perfected this first park, we started a new zoo with a nice landing area for full of googly eyes before giving way to a beautiful interactive prison. But then after that, we made another zoo, a zoo city, complete with a local cinema, chamber of commerce, and of course, animals running amok. But not to be outdone, we went ahead and took this show on the road with a beautiful moon base. But we're back down here on planet Earth with a fresh new plot of land for fresh torment. There's been a couple of new DLC packs, including this aquatic pack. So I get the sense we'll probably check some of this new stuff out, especially because that includes some new animals that are both super Super adorable and probably have very Penguins. brittle bones. But before we dive in and turn this landscape into a hellscape, let's talk about today's sponsor, which is State of Survival. State, State of Survival of is survival a zombie survival to... strategy yes. game for your mobile. Yes, Free to play on iOS and Android. The in this game, you grow your own settlement, <laughs> recruit heroes like this guy, who every time Demon he's selected, penguins? he has oh, to fly no. in on a helicopter, as you do during a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> and you also I mean, train yeah. other people so you can use them as nameless cannon fodder. Sometimes I send in. Not enough troops on purpose. Just watch them lose. That's okay. There's more. But also, that came thank from. you for the subbing. You got your little base. You can do some hot PvP, PVE, or Kingdom versus Kingdom. And can of I course, fighting pee -pee? against big old piles of zombies via a thing called the Explorer Trail, where you uncover new areas and take on all those zombies. You can also create and form alliances, like this very serious one mm, here. And you can also miles. recruit other people to your cause. Now that's an alliance for the ages. There's also a limited time Christmas mm, event from miles. December. 20th to the 25th, where you'll get a survival kit and a holiday skin. And if you're new and sign up with I my creator code here, you also get a starter pack, which includes a hero named and Rusty, who I want to believe is named after the legendary Rusty from my Sims video. I and also you'll get 2,000 bio caps, the currency of the future. And also back to the currency of today, if you download State of Survival using my link, you'll also be automatically entered as one of 30 lucky people to win a $50 <sighs> Amazon gift card code delivered in game. So thanks again to State of Survival survival for sponsoring. Let's That's get fun. back to the what thing. The heck? So as is the case with every fresh zoo, we tend to start Happy in a completely crisis. open yet secluded area so that no one can hear the screams. And then we have a central HQ over here where some true wizardry happens. And I don't mean these turnstiles. That's normal zoo stuff. But once you get past it, the guests appear over here on these magic teleport pads. That's right. There's a future technology in this <laughs> game and nobody cares. And it's probably because there's this festive mural here. Well, this is oh, entirely no, not again. too cheerful. No, so not let's again. give it a makeover. We're going to start by pulling up all of these slats because every makeover needs a demolition day. But don't worry. I know it seems like we're getting rid of all the animal goodness, but I swear we're going to replace it with something beautiful. Okay, oh, and now no. that it's just an empty space, let us proceed with a true artistic vision. And what I really mean is stuff we can shove googly eyes on. Oh, but I'm getting ahead <laughs> Not of myself. Again. we got to build the walls first. And I feel like this Not collection of silhouettes think is going to do the trick. Yep, that looks very nice. And we'll just drag it to the edge. Rotate it up on its side. Bring Jeez. it all the way up. Ta-da! An unsuspecting Happy wall piece. <laughs> Let's change that boring old color. Let's just see. Let's a make you a piece. nice festive. There we go. Just like the real color of elephants. <laughs> and we'll just add on this with other fun shapes. Like what I think is a panda. There we go. Now I know is a panda. And before uh, you know yes. it, this into this. Welcome to all the animals in the yeah, animal kingdom. Yeah, it looks so beautiful. It was designed by wow. a five-year-old. But hey, we got everything here. You know, like a lion, an orangutan, and a bunch of other things I don't really know what they are. Oh, but I know what that is. That's my old friend, the oh, giraffe no, hydra. The How giraffe could I ever hydra. forget about you? <laughs> Ugh, but you know what? I feel like we actually made something kind of good looking. One, one, like if you'd come in off this teleporter, well, right? Thank wouldn't you, you look around being like, oh, this is kind of cute in that county fair kind of way. We're going to have a great time today. And goodness knows we can't have that. So I'm going to make one little tweak. Ah, there we go. The return of the oh, googly no. eyes. And everyone's in Everything I mean, got googly that. eyes. Really a little something doesn't it? Oh, look how big the little baby gorilla's eyes are. And look Why? how funny the deer's <laughs> eyes are. Oh, and this one might be my favorite. What happened, little guy? Are you feeling form. bashful? Wait a minute. No. <laughs> Damn it, this just got even cuter looking. We gotta turn this around before it starts looking like a real zoo. Oh, you know what? I've got an idea. I've been thinking about this all wrong. Okay, this is better. Fold. We've made a slight change. Fold, Sat! Fold! I'm gonna go get the fold. I'll be right back. Change. Uh, oops, sorry. 
We should finish looking this one. Up. And why are they looking up, you ask? Well, they're just basking in the new Let's aesthetics. And by yeah, that, I mean this the beautiful episode. glass ceiling acting as a basket for all these. Don't worry, little guys. They're just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, sleeping, sleeping forever. Those are just dream bugs. You know what? The bugs just add to the subtlety. Because this stuff is Thank still you, cute Gamma, all right. It's only if you feel all the face flies and then look up that you realize that something is horribly wrong. Fuck? See, look. These and people don't seem to... Oh, wait, where are you going? Oh, God, what happened? We need how did him. that even happen? When hey, more him. importantly, when, why when is this stopping you. you? I mean, at least there's no flies, right? Stupid cheap windows, Love stupid cheap living. giraffes, stupid cheap bones. What? Nature, where did it all go? Okay, you leave me no choice. I was trying to go subtle deranged with a little optional art up there, and subtle didn't optional work. So art. instead, <laughs> we're gonna do something that's a little more this. After all, can you ever really go wrong with the king of the jungle? Especially when we're gonna place him on this nice leaf background what I made. <laughs> Looking fierce. Let's see, what to do with the rest of this space? Can I just do more of you? You know what? This is giving me an oh, idea. No. Oh, that's more like it. We got those good old excited eyes, rearing for a adventure oh, when all these little lion things are just stacked on top of each other which means if you look at it <laughs> oh. from the side it's actually sticking out so the first thing that happens when you get off this is you see this looking right at you hey what you doing you come to what visit the, the park fuck? did you bring me something and of course we got two teleporters so there's something going on over here too <laughs> he's just excited excited to greet you oh and look at these things speech bubbles don't mind if i do now there is like lettering in this game but i think it's a little too small a space to really write something exciting. So we're gonna go for more of the quick conveyance. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah. And then ah. to finish it off. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Finally, teaching the kids of tomorrow a good life lesson. DK, the thank you. Recycling. And then no! back to this guy over here. Oh, wait, check this out. See this speech bubble? You can actually write on this one. Shiny Buckle gum, up, gum, you're gonna gum, say gum. some sagely words. There we go. <laughs> That's what the people need to feel paranoid and guilty Hello, the moment thank they you. enter the zoo. And moving on from our entrance, we finally get to the turnstiles, where we've got two oh, little no. monkey friends crying into this the pathway. Jiggle, we're trying jiggle. to go for subtle this She's time. Well. Subtle. <laughs> subtle. Okay, thematically, I think we're there. Now it's Michael time tells. to focus on the zoo part. I really like starting out the zoo as some kind of centerpiece that people can- Why does it look so satisfying when you put down the floor? Is it just me? It looks so satisfying. I want to play the game just to put down pathways. It looks so... Now it's time to focus Look on the it. zoo part. I really like starting out the zoo with some kind of centerpiece that it people looks can so be really good. excited for. And this one's going to be no different. Dick so first Weasel. We Thanks for the sub a perfect circle. And then we're going to put down a nice brick wall. Let's actually lower the height on that as low as we can. And of course, in this, we're going to put in an old favorite. Ta-da. Hey Bye -bye. there, giraffe friend. What do you think? All this open space feels almost too good to be true, doesn't can it? Can you just go... Above you know, the... you're right. It no? isn't cozy enough in here. We should overcrowd your The game is legit pen. good, too. Aren't we excited? The graphics <laughs> look surprisingly so good. So many. And yep, inevitably oh, this God. happens. I'm gonna assume that this cacophony of licking <laughs> that means that everything sense, is fine. No! Okay, but that's enough of that. It's so rare that I build adequate spacing for you cretins. I need you to spread out. Okay, see, there you go. <laughs> yeah, just separate out, make yourself at home. Or form a battalion line. I'm not gonna tell you how to live. Okay, see, that's more like it. Look at all these giraffes just mingling with one what another. I believe fuck? that's what it's called, right? A mingle? A mingle of giraffes? Anyway, a we're mingle. not done yet. We have all the giraffes as we need. Now we just need to see if the public appreciates it. And look, here they come now. Yep. Just come on in. I like how they look up at the sign like, uh-huh. And these uh -huh. people are like, Haha, don't worry. I never recycle. And it looks like this is a big hit with the people. Despite the fact the only thing keeping these things from trampling your children is this teeny tiny fence. Anyway, now that we've got a crowd here, it's time to LGIOify this zoo. And that's going to be this right here. What is it? Now you might be wondering, what's a big red button doing here? Ah, uh, yes, but of course, salvation. So what are you waiting for, kid? Push the button. Salvation? What the fuck? hundreds of giraffes into a nice molten pile of jello. Nice what? work wherever the kid went. Presumably the parents took the kid home. Now that this sign is actually true. Yep, that's salvation, all right. Mondays, am I right? And that's what that Mondays, button is for. Huh? What I think I like most about this too is people are still super interested to take a look, even though they're all dead. What about if I erase the barrier? Oh, I see. Now you people care. <laughs> look, they're turning into bones before your very eyes. Is this really a problem? Come on, you wimps. It's just nature. Oh, no. Such Dead people. animals! Okay, well, I guess let's just clean up our mess. Get everything ready for round two. And good oh. as new. Hey. 
Oh, it was just a plane. I thought it was a thunderstorm. Down, fresh again. volunteers. I'm gonna add a little something extra, though. We're gonna need some signage to help out. We can't be Thank watching you so this much. thing You're 24 hours a day. We got other stuff to do. Okay, that's a little better. Watch over that button, big guy. You and all your Hydra friends. It's a little hard to see, but there's basically an impossible nightmare stemming out from here. But at least people now have a good idea as to what happens what when you push that button. What the fuck is this? Button. Actually, maybe that doesn't help. Maybe it just Why makes it more tempting. That? Whatever. Sounds like a them problem. Let's move on. Maybe that. But at least I, people I can't. Have a good idea I, as to I what just happens can't. When you push that button. Actually, maybe that doesn't help. Maybe it just makes it more tempting. Whatever. Sounds like a them oh problem. Oh my god. Let's move on, shall we? Now, the next thing I want to mess around with is one of the new DLC packs, specifically the, the aquatic pack, and more specifically this penguin shelter. Look at this super Lennon, duper thank you. fancy pre-made item. If that's not the perfect habitat for penguins, I don't know what is. In fact, let's consult ah. the Zoopedia. Make sure we're doing this proper like. Wow, I wish I'd seen this before. Or look at this little thing. It tells you how endangered something is. And as it turns out, the king penguin with a population of 4.5 million is of least concern. Don't okay. be concerned for their safety. Got it. What I actually <laughs> wanted to know is in what temperatures are they comfortable? Ah, here we go. Negative 4 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. This 99 degrees Fahrenheit should do the trick then. No! Wait, don't penguins need like water or the something? Torture. I mean, it's too late to check. And I'm not going to open that thing up and do some more reading. We'll just go with what we got. Okay, so barriers. Let's go. Oh, wait, this will be perfect. Glass, <laughs> blah, penguin. blah, blah, watertight. I'm in. Water and very tight. excited. Okay, cool, great. Wait, can I just add water like this? Calm water or rough water? Obviously rough water. Water cleanliness. Yes, get that down to zero. Okay, let's <laughs> see. We'll just kind of move this around until it's valid and... Mmm. He has lovely Ew. dirty water. Wait a minute. What's keeping it from going higher? Are they just trying to make sure the plague ridden waters don't get to the people? All right. So let's give this a little test. Let's make it higher. Yeah, that seems better, right? Let's see. Looks to be valid right there. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, now that what we have that fuck? under control, we just need to get some penguins to live here. Which, as it turns out, I have no idea how to do. Normally, you would go over here to barriers, and I would select one of these security gates, which is what allows our personnel to get in there and deposit the animals. But I can't <laughs> while the water's in there. Okay, well, let's remove the water first. Add a little door. Connect the thingy right over to the thingy. We're going to start with sending in just one king penguin, because okay. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. Okay, here we go. In comes the penguin. Ta-da. Thank God you come pre-assembled and everything. It's pre looking around like, what the hell is this? This isn't fucking Ikea, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this not to your liking? Well, can I douse you in water? Damn it. Don't you want water? I even took the door away. Oh, don't look at me like that. Okay, well, hold on. I think I got an idea how we're going to make this work. Maybe. So the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to dig, like, below the thing and then fill that with dirty water. But who wants to do that? First, let's box you up. Get rid of this because I got much bigger plans for the water. I think the problem continues to be we need a way to get the animals in here, but none of these are going to be watertight. So we need to find a way to get this above the water line up there so that we can okay. submerge all this. So first, let's get rid of that. We'll set it to a standard, I don't know, 18 meters high. And now I bet if we just kind of like raise the terrain. Okay, okay. Now we have a nice gross platform up here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Built right into the rock. Now we just add some sewage water. Perfect. Great. Now we'll put our open thingamajiggy right there. Problem Beautiful. solved. Animals get dropped off here, <laughs> and then they can go down to their new habitat, the Penguin City of Atlantis. Now all we have <laughs> Oh, yes. Just figure out how to get our penguins up here. Well, that's easy. You know, we'll just have this nice little stairway going almost all the way down and along a path for a little no! while. Frustratingly close to the it's ground, but not quite on kissed. it before launching back it. out. Listen, this isn't even for the guests. This is just for my staff to bring the penguins up. But I still want them <laughs> to be able to get their cardio. After all, it's important to get your steps in. Just a few okay, steps later. Okay, there we go. Couldn't be Just more simple. Steps. I mean, look at it. It's like a roller coaster, but for your legs. And I honestly don't know what my favorite detail is. It could be the no railings or all the weird <laughs> wobbliness for absolutely no reason. Actually, no, it's probably these stairs right here where you have to climb up, get to this weird peak right here, and then go back down. And the steps also change color for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Enjoy just that much more disorientation. Okay, bring me the penguin. Have fun. My my god, I think she actually is. Oh my she god, is this is like some ninja this. warrior type heck? stuff. I mean, she's not just running this thing either. She's doing it with a big maniacal smile on her face <laughs> and a broom in her hand. Thanks for the delivery. Are you ready for your new home? 
Oh my god, is it actually gonna happen? So graceful. <gasps> and there he goes, torpedoing around oh. his new home. Now we just have to so wait and see pretty. if he tires himself out and goes and sleeps down there. Jeez, are you ever gonna stop swimming? You're right, it is too spacious down here. Well, I think we know what happens next. You're about to have some company. Oh, just no. a few friends to make the place look no. a little bit more homely. Thanks for the special deliveries, everybody. You probably don't need all the confetti next time. Oh, a people <laughs> hydra. That's a new one. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. March on uh, in yes. there. See, that's much better. Just think, everything's better when there's an inevitable collision. Or whatever keeps happening right there. <laughs> what the hell is happening right here? Why does this guy keep just dropping down like this? I mean, whatever. I guess the important thing is that more stuff gets in the water. Isn't that right, fellas? Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, hello. Well, this wasn't in the Zoopedia. I didn't realize they could just hang out outside the tank like this. Is this just what happens when you overflow the tank? If that's true, I think we know where no this is way. going. More penguins, please. Well, the more penguins we add, the weirder this gets. Naturally, our more airborne friends are growing in numbers. Just hanging out, flying, and fancy free. One thing I wasn't Beautiful. expecting, though, is these I guys can rejoin anytime they want. Like, once they've had their fill of being out here, they're just like, all right, time to go back. I'm just gonna bend time and space and wander back through this glass. In fact, at this point, I feel like pretty much everything is broken. You okay, oh, God. The little guy? I'm gonna take oh, the one out sucking well. you back oh. in? That's too bad. Good thing your brother doesn't care. Oh, and that one doesn't even get to be unpacked. It's just part of the problem now. So if you ever wondered what hundreds of penguins look like when they get a tank to themselves, I've got answers for you. It's actually kind of roomy for swimming, or plainly terrifying where you get stuck forever, or you just get stuck in a time loop, or you just kind of observe from the outside. And there's some items I can use to spruce up the tank a little bit. Why like this, this rubber duck, so which I don't funny. know if I were them, I'd find this thing a little bit scary. Oh my god, and the penguins can interact with them. Planet Zoo, what have I done to deserve such a gift? No sense in questioning it. Time to go nuts. I must have done something right in a past zoo. You know, it's weird, but the game's frame rate doesn't seem to be very steady when you add a whole lot of rubber duckies. It's almost like the game doesn't want you doing this. But if that were true, why does it fill me with such joy? Also, this guy can walk on water now. Isn't nature something else? Jesus. Hang on a quick second. I recognize you guys are having tons of fun, but I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these because I have an idea. I left you a couple. Just hang out, have a good time. I'll be right back. I need oh, the extra frames God. to try something else. Okay, lion friend, I'm sorry to do this, but I need to move you back a little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so weird looking. Okay, let's get rid of this. Now I'm gonna take these lovely glass walls, place them just like so, and put in glass on both sides. Okay, that's looking perfect. Oh, sorry, lion friend. Let me get you close again. There you go. Is that okay? <laughs> just yelling from the other side of the glass. So this is my new test space. What are we testing? Well, since we know that penguins can interact with these things, I want to see if human beings can too. So I put a line of these on both sides. We're going to see if guests trip all over them. Because okay. surely they're going to be clamoring to get in the park so that they can see. Okay, I don't know what happened there. But who cares? They're going to be coming to see this. <laughs> the amazing gravity-defying penguins. So let's see if this works. Oh my god. <laughs> Not only can they interact with them, but it makes the squeak noise every time. Welp, I think we all know where this is going. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna have to clone some rubber ducks. Unsurprisingly, the game doesn't like what I'm doing. There's probably a lot of <laughs> physics at play. To the point where as I was laying these things out, it was just like, nah, we're not even gonna try anymore. <laughs> no fun bouncing like before. Although I am a little curious, I'm hearing like a noise. It sounds kind of like a record scratching. Right, you hear that? What Whatever, I'm sure it's fine. Let's reopen the park and see what happens. Oh, hey there, welcome to the zoo. Oh, they oh. just collide right through them. Well, hang on, I'm not ready to be defeated yet. Let's just erase some. Maybe the collision will wake back up. Oh, okay, yeah, the collision's back. We just need to not go too nuts on it. Ah, uh, there's the collision we were hoping for. Just use your face, kids. If you just keep shoving your way through, we might see you on the other side. If not, just go ahead and find a new parent. I love the idea that they just don't care if they're dragging these into the park. Oh my god, look at this one. Gyro enrichment. Oh, and it's huge. This can't work the same way, can it? Sure does. Also, look at oh this god, lady. It's Nothing beautiful. is stopping her from getting to the zoo. Who cares who she shoves over? She's gonna to see those penguins, even if it means shoving through gyros and families. This is her day. <laughs> well, now that we have an audience, we should probably address something else. Are the penguins still here, and how are they doing? And more importantly, what happens to these guys if someone pushes the... Oh, 
I see. They fall into the earth and everybody is completely unimpressed. Although things are looking a lot better in here. Okay, listen, I'm not trying to criticize stuff while it's down, or in this case, dead. But who dies like this? Who turns inside out when they die? Oh, and these two died holding hands. See, that's how you die, holding hands. Not turning into a kayak. Okay, I feel like I'm not supposed to be laughing at this. But why are these things dying so comically? Just like legs sticking straight up? Oh yeah, here we go. Here come the flies, which it looks like they've evolved. They don't even care if you're underwater. Those flies are coming for you. I love that there's still swarms oh, of sorry, people coming to, to see this. Something. All those exciting oh, okay. dead bodies and flies. I okay, still well, had this has been I would say this was moderately successful. I'm okay. I was just getting stuff out of my teeth. They really did a good job of carving out a but path. I need to figure out a way to prevent them from doing that. So hang on. I'm going to take just a few minutes to build a quick thing. Okay, so I've created my new park. Who wants a duck-filled okay. tour? So, of go. course, everything starts here at the entrance, where some lovely rubber duckies are waiting for you. And pretty much you just go That's through the rubber duckies, say Sabatha. hello to an old friend, uh, and then continue on. on friendly Sabatha, faces like on the way, my teeth including after our absolute favorite, but not I'm recycling. Normally, and then no. once you do that I zigzagging just back and forth for a little so while, you stream. finally get to something else. And that's the entrance to the park. And that's when you get to your first exhibit. I got real excited seeing the penguins in water, so I figured, why should they have all the fun? <laughs> I didn't mind seeing other things tread water for a while, like polar bears and reindeer, the bears are fine, weirdly distressed but... looking wolves. Watch out, tiger crossing. Something tells me you're not going to see this in a zoo every day. A tiger with a panicked look treading water while he has a little looky-loo in the background. Hey, Coca-Cola bear, give him some space. And then stuff like this happens when oh. you just really want to be uh, with your buddies on the other side. Oh, um, nature, you're so mysterious. And once you're done witnessing all this horseplay, it's time to move on to the penguins. As you can see, they're over there, and their watering what hole the is over fuck? here, and they're separated by this wall. You might be wondering why. Well, I feel like they need to earn it this time, that's why. But don't worry, I've crafted for them some help. Ta-da! I made some stairs for them. What? All they gotta do is scale them. And you might be like, Josh, why can't they just climb up to the other side and all the way around? Because it's a double helix, and the only place it connects is right up here at the top. <laughs> so basically, once they make it through one side, they can cross the penguin bridge and then start the journey the back fuck? down. Oh, look how excited they are. They can taste <laughs> the water already. Now, guys, no crowding. It's not a race. But if fuck? it were, I'm pretty sure that's cheating. And then after what feels like an eternity of these little fellows racing to the top, I want you to meet the king of the penguins the first one to cross the bridge how does it feel little guy wait what Oh, well, surely he's just overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm sure he'll shake he this just, off. Besides, what? there's more warriors where that came from. See, there we go. Welcome to the winner's circle. Time to enjoy a well-deserved swim. Can you guys stop? And if you're gonna <laughs> insist on dying, can you make it less comical? Well, being a winner doesn't mean you have to be alive, I guess. Anyway, once you've had your fill of the penguins, we move on to the one and only <laughs> place you can get some food. I swear, the name is just Penguin. for the theme. Definitely no way that this is made from real penguins. Now, there is something <laughs> else to show you. But uh, we're gonna wait till there's people in the park for that one. So let's head back and welcome our guests. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, you lucky, unlucky people. Just think of this as a beautiful life I lesson. You ducks. wanna get to that park, you gotta earn it. And with everybody's judging eyes watching you too. But you know, when you're this excited, it's pretty easy to make it to the finish line. Especially when the frame rate is terrible and the exhibits don't make any sense. You know how we know that this has been a rousing success? Because the rubber duckies are now falling into the pool. Well, while everyone's getting their delicious burgers, let's finally check out this thing. I can't forget about giraffes, so of course I made a special area just for them. And boy, is it mysterious. Oh well, if it isn't huh? a big, beautiful train. Now I bet you're wondering where this okay. takes us. But hold your horses. We gotta wait for the people. Oh boy, here we come. Choo choo. All aboard. Choo Who's choo, ready for the ride of a lifetime. Have fun, kids. Wee. First stage of our journey is gonna take us around this turn with a nice little sign reminding us what we've got in store. Okay. And then up a ramp we go because God knows I love those in my zoos. We got some hype signs too to keep the excitement nice and high for those giraffes. Giraffe oh boy, time. kids. Yes. Can you feel it? Can you feel the excitement? Because I don't know if you know 
this, but it's draft o'clock and we're almost there. It's draft time. Or is it? Or is what? it filled with blood soaked beach balls? Have fun. What we don't talk fuck? about what happens in there. That's between those people and the giraffe. And that's the last we saw what? of that train. Nah, I'm just kidding. That would be cruel. The train actually pops up right here. There it is. I remember there being passengers and it not being quite uh, so blood red. But hey, what are you gonna do? We'll just wash um, it off at the end of the workday. Until then, you uh, have a good time on your uh, last day on Earth. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm not gonna think too hard about what happened to those people and neither should you. And I'll see you next time. Giraffic Park? Giraffic Park.